Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. Let's start off with a battle. With a Pokemon that can only be found in this route in Pokemon Sword. Farfetch. More importantly, the Galarian variant of it. Which looks really badass. Ooh, and I worried I was gonna KO it. Very cool Pokemon. What is not cool about this Pokemon is how you evolve it. For the uninformative, uh, this Pokemon can evolve. Uh, it can evolve into a Pokemon named Surfetch. You wanna guess how you evolve this thing? Take, take some guesses. Take some guesses without looking it up. How do you evolve this Pokemon? You don't know? Would you believe that you need to get three critical hits? in a single battle for it to evolve and I do mean that you have to get three critical hits within the same battle for Farfetch to evolve and I believe you have to win that battle as well and Farfetch cannot be KO'd as well and I think Farfetch has to be the one that does the critical hits as well so yeah not a very fun Pokemon to evolve the Farfetch of the Galar region are brave warriors, and they wield thick, tough leeks in battle. If it wasn't for the fact that Galarian Farfetch is hard to evolve for this reason, there are a few areas in the game where you could do it easily, but still, I would have probably have considered it a member of my team, but because of this method of evolution, it got shafted. Cause, even though it looks cool and Surfetch is even cooler, the evolution process, not fun. Not fun whatsoever. Uh, how far away are you from a level up? I'm gonna feed you candy cause... You're... No way, I think... I'll chance it, cause if I remember the Pokemon correctly, I think Violet can deal with them. Oi! Just hand over the bike already. We need it to cross this long bridge. We're gonna use that bike to chase around gym challengers. It will be a scream. How about Barrack? It wouldn't work anyway. You need to have a road tom with you. Hey, young gym challenger. They're trying to steal my bike. Please, if you could give them a good thrashing, I would be in your debt. Oi! We're not trying to steal the bike, only borrow it! We're gonna use it to chase after gym challenges that make them all tired. But I'm thinking you're deserving a special shout out. I'm gonna crush you in battle. Time to face Team Yell again. Here comes Zigzagoon. Do, 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 do. Disarming voice. And down goes the zigzagoon. Feeble. And there is Feeble, the evolution of, uh, of Nicket. Or Nicket. It, however the proper pronunciation it is, it or. It's actually not a bad looking Pokemon. Especially it has like the little like mustache. <laughs> but yeah, I have used a Feeble on my team and it's not a bad Pokemon. I think I use, if I recall correctly, I think I used people when I did a sword run. A sword run. Shield run. Um, when the games came out. Again, not a bad Pokemon. Good physical attacker. We team yell. We get up in the faces of trainers. Ah, 
You crushed my attempt to crush you. Why you? I want that bike. Don't get in my way. Time to deal with the other grunt. Ooh, Sableye. I think I should switch Violet out because I think she's still weak to ghost moves, if I remember correctly. So let's get her out of there. I don't know if this Sableye has a ghost move, but I'm not taking the chance. Lane charge. Oh yeah, it has Astonish. So yeah, I'm trying to remember if Curlia would have been hurt badly by ghost moves. I think it still can, so good thing I swapped out. Violet leveled up. Uh, Charm. I don't have a use for it. I was too distracted by the bike. Otherwise, there's no way I would lose to a yellow belly like you. You are too strong. If you stay in the gym challenge, you're gonna cause you're gonna cause problems for our lady. You haven't seen the last of us. We're gonna make sure you stay out of our lady's way. My word, you're quite the trainer. And to see you have a Pokedex too, that means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic, I think I'll give you, you this bike, bike to you. Then, better you have it than Team Yell. Now, you know how Rotom loves motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right into the machines that have motors. So, that got me thinking, what if I attach a motor to the bike? To the bicycle. Then maybe I could get Rotom to pop up into that as well. I see. Come now, give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with Rotom to its fullest. Chop, chop, come on now. You and Rotom ride that bike bicycle together. And we got the Rotom bike. The bike can be con combined with the Pokemon Rotom to, to use a turbo boost. I'll read the manual. Press the plus button or minus button to ride your bike with Rotom. Let's get cycling. And just like that, we change outfits and we can ride a bike. You can also press uh, R the R button for a bit of a speed boost. This is a good way to get around an area quickly, especially in the wild areas. Especially in the wild area, the Isle of Armor, and the eventual Crown Tundra that we'll be going to in the future. This bike is going to be your best friend. And also there's these items on the floor, so I'm not going to ride my bike. We found a Resist Fetter, an item used for Pokemon. It slightly increases the defense uh, base points of a single Pokemon. What is the problem with those Team Yell goons? I can understand wanting to cheer someone on, but they cause so much trouble in the process. Hardly a decent way for fans to behave. Alright, let's switch Titus out to the front. There's an item. I was going to say, you need to have a keen eye because the, the feathers are hidden. Because of the camera angle, it may not be easy to spot the feathers. That big building you see in the distance is Hammerlock Stadium. You'll be going to battle there too. Oh yeah, looks pretty cool. Pretty fetter. Or resist. Oh hello Hop. There you are Donnie. I'm waiting for you though. Any, st any closer than that and we're gonna have a, ba have a battle, you and me. How did you get past Team Yell? Anyway, let's battle. I warned you, we're both gym challengers who, who earned ourselves a grass badge. 
This is perfect training. Actually, I didn't read that properly. Did he say training or timing? Anyway, let's take him on. Let's have a taste of what a gym badge holder team can do. May as well. Take on that Wulu. And Wulu's gone. Corva Squire. Let's bring in Gleam. Here comes Corvus Squire. Too bad we don't have berries, but I will intimidate you instead. Female intimidation. Now give it a nice spark. After it pecks us. Set that bird out of the sky. Typical. You should have known you you would master type matchups. For wacky. Bring in Kara. Do, do, do. Every one of my Pokemon is an ace. There's no pro. Uh, this is no problem at all. Well, Pop's uh, starter evolved, so let's give it an X. And we defeated Hawk. We both got ourselves the same grass badge, so how come you're so much stronger? Well, I did went to the Isle of Armor for a little bit. You've gotten strong, Donnie. Seems I gotta train even harder from now on. And he gave us a revive. A kick in the teeth if you're doing a Nuzlocke run. Next up is Nessa, the leader of the water gym. Right, let's continue walking across this bridge. By the way, these feathers, I'm, go I'm gonna be using them off screen. Um, I may use them off screen because I need to check my Pokemon stats and see who deserves them more. Uh, any more hidden item? There we go. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure there's at least one more feather. And look at that flying in the wind. It is Elder Goss. Give it a bite. Ooh, Elder Goss is actually really tanky. I forgot that it was a tanky Pokemon. And it also has a uh, ability known as Cotton Down. Basically, it's an ability where if you hit if you hit it with a physical move, it uh, lowers the stats of... It lowers the stats. And it doesn't lower the stats of the Pokemon who did the attack as well. It lowers the stats of every Pokemon around Elder Goss. So in a double battle, it's sort of not beneficial to you because it will also lower the stat of your partner. It's especially annoying in uh, Dynamax battles because it lowers the st uh, speed stat of everybody in the group. So great in a single battle, not great in like doubles. Ah, uh, it's putting Gleam to sleep.
Come on, get captured, little goss. One, two, three, and captured. Gleam and Kara leveled up. I might give Violet a boost in its inner XP. The seeds attached to its cotton fluff are full of nutrients. It spreads them on the wind so that plants and other Pokemon can benefit from them. And I actually have used an Elder Goss before. It's actually a Attack, attacking wise, it's not that great of a Pokemon, but, um, it is a good team member. Especially in my sword playthrough, because I got managed to find a shiny. Whoops, fed Violet a little too much. Just want to get her un just before the level up. Uh, just real quick, do I have an awakening? Oh no, I should have plenty of berries. I should have a berry that should wake wake it up. Here we go. Eat a chest, little green, gleam. I don't know how you're feeding it while it's asleep. Like what, are you just shoving it in its mouth and like forcing its mouth to chomp the berry until it wakes up? Let's get that item by fighting this trainer. Work to raise the good points of Pokemon. Don't, don't worry about its bad points. Okay, breeder demise, demise, demise. Anyway, oh Dalmez, I think is how you actually say that. Oh, this cherry is not gonna last very long. To Titus. Give it a flame charge. <laughs> a Wubat. Ram into it, Titus. I accept that I lost, but I'm not gonna let it, it bother me that much. Let's grab our item. Do some special attacks. If I remember correctly, there's a hidden item over here. The Assumption Bore, uh, Bulb, which basically is an interesting item. You equip it to a Pokemon, and I believe if the Pokemon gets hit by a water move, it raises the special attack stat. But the item only works once. Once is the trade-off. So not a bad item if you know you're going to be facing a, t uh, a water type. Take on this trainer. Keep this to yourself, but I'm having Pokemon help me with my work. How is that a bad thing? If this was the Pokemon world, I'm pretty sure we would have Pokemon helping us work uh, all the time, Gabadale. Ooh, Krogunk. Flame Charge. You are a trainer who's stronger than me and the Pokemon that can do my work. When I get stuck with my work, I have my Pokemon pet me. That's an interesting statement to hear. So anyway, I think we'll end things off here. In the next episode, we'll finally go into Her Herbury and take a look around. See you all then.